Wish you all a very good day, my dear children. Now today we are going to discuss Grade Seven Unit Two Sex. First of all, let's see what type of things we have to learn uh, by studying this lesson. All right. Now when we learn this uh, unit, we have to discuss these things. What is a set? Then naming a set, writing a set. Now there are three methods of writing a set. Anyway, now let's consider these topics one by one. What is a set? A set is a clearly defined group of objects. All right. What is the meaning of this thing? We can just say that it is a clearly defined group of items. But what is the meaning? Can you understand? All right. Now I will give you a few examples. Here you are. Now look at these ones. Flowers with five petals. Now you can take a flower into your hand and count the number of petals. Right. If it has five petals, yes, that flower is a member of this group. Whoever that selects, maybe you or your friend or your relation, any person, maybe any person, whoever that selects will select the same thing. Right. Therefore, it is a set. But beautiful flowers. Now, when we say beautiful flowers, different people have different opinions. Now, when you take a certain flower, uh, maybe a lily, one person says it's a that it is a beautiful flower. Another person he says it is not a beautiful flower. Two different opinions can come. Then the things that uh, the group members will. Uh, I mean, differ from person to person. When one person selects a certain set of members, another person selects another set of members. And when you take a particular certain flower, one person will say that it is a member, the other person will say that it is not a member, it is not a beautiful flower. Therefore, it is not a clear definition. This is not a set. Then tall children, right? Is it a set? That also depends upon the person who selects. One child will say, uh, now there are five children A, B, C, D, E. Like this. A, B, C, D, E. Now, one child will say that uh, only C, D are tall children. But another one will say that uh, even uh, A and B also are tall children. Therefore, that also depends upon the person who selects. Therefore, that is not a set. Because different people come to different opinions. Uh, then number, number four. Children taller than 165 centimeters. Then it is very clear. Whoever that selects, no matter who selects, he will select the same, any person will select the same group. Measure the height, uh, 165 or less, not, he is not a member, Six, more than 65, then he is a member. Any person will select the same uh, members. Therefore, it is the same. Those who got high marks, what do you mean by high marks? One uh, person will say that 70 is the high mark. Another one will say that, no, 70 is not a high mark, or, uh, it must be above 80. Above 80 are high, high marks. So then, also you get different opinions. Two people select two different members. Therefore, it is not a set. Those who got more than 75, yes, whoever that selects, no matter. It doesn't depend upon the person who selects. Uh, anybody will select the same group, so it is a set. Days of the week. There are seven days. Anybody selects the same seven. All right, it's the same. Animals that can run fast. That is another problematic one, right? Now horse can run fast. It's true. But dog. One person will say that dog also can run fast. There might be another person who says that dog is not a fast runner. Therefore, this, this one also is not a same. So I think now you got the what this. Clearly defined means. Now look at this. 
even numbers between 1 and 10. And I have put it within curly brackets. It is a set because even numbers between 1 and 10. Whoever that selects will select the same uh, numbers. Then we can write it like this. Describe what it is. Describe it within double brackets, within curly brackets like this. Or else you can write what are the even numbers. These are the even numbers. 2, 4, 6 and 8. Even numbers between 1 and 10. These are called elements. These are called elements. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 elements. And you can use commas. Nothing else. You can use commas to separate the elements. And there is another very special thing. Take this. Very special thing. You can write. Uh, there, there you need not have any particular order in these ones. You can write even A, 2, 4, 6. No matter. You can mix up. There is no any particular order. No matter. You can write it like this. No order. These are called elements. Right. Then, in here, I have written, described the set in here. Using a common property. Or else, I have written the elements within curly brackets. Right. Then, how can we name? The name that you give must be, it must be an English capital letter like this. A. A. Right? It must be an English capital letter. So, it must be, the name must be an English capital letter. In here, you have described, within curly brackets, you have described the set using a common property. That is one way of writing a set. There is another way you have written. We, are, we can write the elements of the set within curly brackets. Alright, there is another one. Now, let's see what it is. Right. Now, here you are. Now, when we write a set, there are three possible methods of writing a set. Within curly brackets, you can describe using a common property. That is, describing. Number two, listing the elements. Write the list of elements. That is, listing. Writing the list of elements. Third one, writing the list of elements within a, inside a, a closed figure. Closed figure. It need not be a circle. You can even take this, this type of one. No matter. Anyway, it must be a closed one. Within a closed figure. This method was invented by mathematician John Venn. Therefore, these are called Venn diagrams. Right? Then here you are. There are three methods. Now you know three methods of writing a set. And there comes another problem. Now let's discuss what it is. Now this is the problematic thing. Here you are. B equals even numbers. Even numbers. Even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. It does not end. There is no end. So we can't leave it. So what can we do? How can I close the bracket? Then we can put three dots like this to show that it continues in the same manner. But remember one thing. If you are going to put three dots, then you can't mix up. The order must be there. Otherwise, the other person can't understand. Right? Now, it is called ellipsis. That is called ellipsis. But you can't use the, the, the Venn diagram for this type of non-ending sets. That's all. See how simple it is. Alright, children. If you like this, please subscribe uh, and click on the bell icon. We can meet in the next lesson. Wish you good luck.